Hey everyone, I thought I'd reach out to all of you and share a special announcement video about an upcoming gathering we're going to be starting this coming Monday evening. Now one of the great joys I have is to be able to lead soul care ministries here at the church. And soul care is that term that we use for any ministry that involves chances to participate and grow in prayer, and then in developing that personal relationship with God that he invites us into. Now, many of you have been active in this, using the Year with Jesus devotions throughout this past year. Or maybe you've taken part in the Intro to Soul Care classes, maybe some past Getty trips or even our book discussions. Now, all of these are offered to learn about how we can grow in our interactions with God and how He uses the time that we spend in Him to transform us into the people He calls and creates us to be. Now, many of the things that we've done with Soul Care involve you participating on your own. And it's been our hope that we would have a regular place where we can now gather together to share in these times of growth, to practice different types of prayer and disciplines together, and then just to rest in God's presence. Well, we're starting that now, and it's called Abide and Go. And so I want to invite all of you to join us on Monday, September 27th. That's this coming Monday. It's from 6.30 to 7.30 in the sanctuary, and it's our first Abide and Go gathering. Now, they'll continue on the fourth Monday of each month. Why is it called Abide and Go? Well, Jesus invites us into intimate relationship with him in John 15, and there he refers to himself as the vine and to us as the branches. And then he calls us to remain or abide in him. And when we take the time to do this, to abide, or to rest in his presence, it's from that place that he sends us out to love and to serve others around us. And that's the go part. Now, I understand that when you hear a prayer gathering or a chance to come practice different types of spiritual disciplines, it might raise some questions of whether or not this is for you. In fact, you might have a certain picture in your mind of what a prayer gathering might look like. Well, I'd encourage you to come and to check this out. We're going to explore different experiences, from old traditional practices of the church to newer expressions, and then some creative concepts for prayer as well. So whether you consider yourself a longtime prayer warrior or someone just trying to figure out what it looks like to spend time with a personal God, you're going to get something out of this time. And ultimately, these nights are just what the title says. It's a chance to rest and meet with Jesus, to abide, and then to leave that place going in continued service in God's kingdom. Could you use a space to rest in God? Then come join us and join us this Monday and then for the next couple of Bide and Go gatherings. It's a chance to take a step of growth in your life with God, to be with others that are doing the same thing. And I know God will use it to continue shaping who you are in Jesus as you follow him. So if you have any questions, please email me, marty at ccto.org. And we look forward to seeking God together this Monday at Abide and Go.